Okay, so let's look at question 5.4 of paper 2 2019. <clears throat> so they say consider f of x equals sine x plus 25 cos 15 minus cos x plus uh, 25 sine 15. So this here looks a lot like that part, sine cos a. So we're, so basically the x plus 25 is gonna be the a, the a bit. And then the cos 15, the 15 is going to be the b bit. The cos 15, sine 15. So what we can say <clears throat> is we can just change this. So we can say, I'm going to keep it in red so we can keep track. So f of x is therefore equal to sine. And it's going to be x plus 25 is our a minus our 15. And so now we know that f of x is equal to sine x plus 10. Okay, five point, they want to know the general solution of f of x. If f of x equals tan 165. Okay, so we know f of x is this. So we can say then that sine x plus 10 is equal to, so now I'm going to just put that in green, just so that we can keep track, 165 because we see that f of x is that. So if f of x is equal to tan 165, then f of x, oh, this is tan 165, sorry. Tan 165. Okay, well, we know tan 165 is a number. So what we can do is we can check out our cost diagram, and tan is gonna be tan 165 So let's work out the tan 165 bits. Tan 165 is equal to tan 180 minus 15, right? Because 180 minus 15 is 165, and that's our 180 minus theta quadrant. So we know that the tan value is negative. So we can put tan 15 in our calculator, right? So it's going to be therefore equal to minus tan 15. So that's just going to give us an answer. So we can put that in our calculator here. Tan 15 equals just put that to a thing and it's going to be negative because of being in the that quadrant there so negative zero comma two six seven and we'll just do three decimal places, four decimal places, just to keep as accurate as we can. Now, so we know that sine x plus 10 is equal to that. So I can put sine x plus 10 in there. So we've given tan 165 a value. So now we're dealing with just a normal uh, sine x plus 10 equals negative 2 comma 6 7 9 general formula question so now that we know that it's negative we know that it's going to be in these two quadrants okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the critical angle because it's negative so when I when I want the critical angle it means I use positive two comma six seven nine 
in my calculator. The negative is telling me the quadrant and the 0,2679 is telling me the angle. So our critical angle is equal to, now I have to put it in the calculator. So it's going to be, I'm gonna clear this. Ah, it stopped working. Um, okay, so I'm gonna to have to just do it on this calculator here. Close program. Okay, so let's just, um, let's just block that up. Okay, so I'm going to write down what you're going to put in your calculator. It's going to be sine to the minus one of zero comma two six seven nine. So sine to the minus one of zero comma two six seven nine. I get and I get my angle is equal to so theta equals fifteen comma Five, four. Okay, so I'm going to switch to white now. So we know that it's in these two quadrants, the 180 plus theta and the 180 as 360 minus theta. Okay, so therefore and so it was x plus 10, right? That was the angle. x plus 10 equals 15,54. So it's a 180 plus quadrant. So that'll be 180 plus 15,54 plus k360. And x plus 10, or x plus 10 is equal to, and in the quadrant 360 minus 15 plus k 360. You can see that the 360s will kind of cancel out, so we can take that away because that's just one version of 360, which could be taken if you made k negative 1, it would be 360 minus 360, which would be negative 15. So now we take the 10 across. So K is equal to 180 plus 15 minus 10. It's going to be one. Uh, so it's plus five. So it'll be 185, 54 plus K 360. or x is equal to um, <clears throat> so negative 15 minus 10 is going to be minus 25 comma 5 4 degrees plus k 360 okay this is 195 yeah um, so that's your general solution here and here. Now 5.4.2 says determine the values where it's going to be a, a minimum. Well, we know that a sine graph is, the minimum of a sine graph is negative one. So all we do is we can just make that equal to negative one. So we're going to just get this sine x plus 10. Instead of equaling negative 0, 0,267, now we're going to make it equal to negative 1. 
because that's going to tell us our minimum. And so sine to the minus one of, and we're going to say one then, because <clears throat> that's going to give us our critical value. But then we obviously want to figure out where it's negative, because that's going to be where it's the smallest. Um, so sine to the minus one of one is equal to 90, of course. And it's negative over here. We kind of know it's over here, don't we? So it's going to be 180 plus 90, which is 270. 180 plus 30, 180 plus 90 will take us to 270 and 360 minus 90 will also take us to 270. It's on this line. So therefore, x plus 10 is equal to 270. And I take it across and x is equal to 260 degrees. One more thing. Um, because we're going to be doing uh, trig functions soon, is let's just look if we could work it out graphically. So this is the sine graph. It goes up and down, starting at zero, coming to 90, then 180, and then a minimum at 270. And x plus 10 shifts the graph back by 10, right? Because a plus shifts it to the left. Um, if you don't understand that, that's okay because you could just watch the trig graph um, videos. But for those of you who do get that, you're shifting this graph plus, so you're taking it back from 110 by 10 degrees to 260. So it's going from 270 backwards 10 to 260, which is correct. Okay, so that is the 5.4. Uh, sure. To a tricky question. Um, 2019, they did not go easy on the peeps. Um, okay, so uh, I will see you next time for uh, some trick graphs.